Welcome to our CyberPower Bricks LCD series UPS battery backup product review. And in today's review, we are looking at this particular model so that we can use it in our network to help give support to our Raspberry Pis and also the Raspberry Pis um, hard drives that are attached to it. And we may even use this for a little bit of the um, networking, the routers and routers, routers, switches and um, other things. So we're going to have a few things plugged into this. So we're going to see how this performs. Now, ideally, I wanted this because my, um, you know, my Raspberry Pi kept going down. I live in an area where there's quite a lot of power cuts. Um, one of my media drives ended up corrupting, so I wanted to make sure that I could try and stop that from happening. And I came across this product on Amazon, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a try and to see how it works. So we're going to have a look at this today. If you guys are interested in this product, there is some links in the description below. Help yourself to have a click on them. They are affiliate links. If you use them, we will get a little bit of commission back and we thank you for using them. So first things first, we're gonna unbox this today and we're gonna have a look at what the box contains. And a little bit later on, we're gonna get this up and running. We're gonna do some testing on the Raspberry Pi and we're gonna see how this um, performs under a power cut simulation. So looking at the box, it's well packaged and we have here, we have the um, PC power cable that goes into the USB port and that can control the power on and power off times. So this UPS can basically power down your Windows device or your computer. Um, I'm not sure if it works on the Raspberry Pi. I haven't actually even looked into getting that to work. So here is the manual for the device. It gives you all the details of all of the ports and what it does and how it functions. There is a product registration card for a warranty. There is some RJ11 cable here, as well as a power to PC cable. Now, this should automatically shut down your PC if you can set it up with their software that they have. I haven't actually done this myself currently, but um, you can do it. So basically, if your power goes down your area, then the um, it will send a signal to the software on your PC, which will automatically shut it down. So that's great if you're using this with a Windows device. So we're just going to take the polystyrene off here and this is obviously for the UK only, this is not for the US. I will put in the description below a very similar model and it should function the same, it's part of the CyberPower family but it should have a USA plug in it but this one has a United Kingdom plug as I am living in the United Kingdom. So just pulling this polystyrene off. You can see it has a nice finish. It's actually quite weighty. Um, it weights quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure what it weighs in kilograms, but it's, uh, it definitely feels heavy to hold. So I'm just gonna spin this around. So this back of this device, it can be mounted to the wall if you need be. It has two um, screw holes to mount it. I'm just gonna peel away this sticker now, get rid of it. This is for the LCD screen. So for the testing, I am running a single Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 3 that I use for my CCTV. Um, this is running directly just one socket into the UPS uh, itself, and then it's plugged into the wall above. Um, at the moment, it's currently powered off, so I haven't powered it on. Um, and so everything is turned off and the wall is off. So this is it as it stands. So I'm now gonna turn the socket on, and I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like. Now the power button needs to be held for at least a couple of seconds for it to actually turn the LCD display on. And as you can see, the Raspberry Pi has power, but that's obviously coming off the mains, but you can see the green um, activity light to show that, that it's actually um, something's happening on the Raspberry Pi. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to turn the power off from the wall and we're gonna simulate a power cut and to see if our Raspberry Pi continues to be powered by the UPS unit. So 
So as you can see, the Raspberry Pi is still powered on. It also let off two short beeps to let us know that the power had gone down and it's making a bit of a louder humming sound than what it did previously when it was connected to the mains. So now that the power is now turned back on from the mains, you can hear that the humming noise has returned to what it did previously when it was also connected to the mains. So in this final test, I have connected all of my devices to my UPS. I currently have about three Pi's connected to this. Um, I have one connected to the USB port and I also have a um, ready NAS server which is connected to it and I'm going to test to make sure that everything stays online. So I'm gonna use my um, laptop, which I've got available to me, and I'm gonna do a ping test. Using a ping test is like a connectivity test, so if the um, power goes down and one of the devices powers off, um, what will happen is if I'm trying to ping that device, it will then let me know that that device is no longer available and the ping will come back unsuccessful or it will just freeze. Um, so if anything goes offline, we will see it frozen. Um, I'm also using my CCTV camera. It has a date and time on it and a timestamp so we can make sure that when we come back online that that CCTV is continuing to tick over which will um, give us our heads up to let us know that the UPS has worked. So we're going to flick this switch now and turn it off so you see it goes from load which is from the mains and that will switch to battery. So we're now running at 230 volts and we're going to spin around now and make sure all our devices are still pinging through. And as you can see on the board here, that the time on the CCTV camera is still ticking by, still capturing video, and all the ping tests seem to be running perfect. So that's exactly what we want to see. So that's been a successful backup. Um, the UPS is doing exactly what we've asked it to do. So our conclusion on the CyberPower Brick LCD series is that this is a fantastic bit of hardware. It will works ideally on a small office or network and it can power up to six devices plus a USB port for one extra device, which we've actually currently in my setup, I have a Raspberry Pi um, connected to that USB port and it works perfectly powering it under the five volt load. So if you live in one of them areas where you tend to get a lot of power surges or power cuts, which I do, this is ideal for keeping your data secure because if your Raspberry Pi powers down or whatever server you have connected without you know, powering off the drives, if anything's been written to that, it can easily corrupt your data. Um, and this actually happened to one of my devices, which led me to this um, device now that I'm using. I'm very happy with it. I've used it since January. It's now March and it's working absolutely fantastic. I've had two power outages and I had no interruption to my connection whatsoever. In the description below, as well as on our website, we have some affiliate links. Um, we have this product, which is a Amazon link. We have a UK link for this particular device. And I've also added a USA um, Amazon link device to a similar product that works very similar. I've checked the product reviews on that product and it works just as well. Them links that we have provided are affiliate links. We make a little bit of commission if you guys use them and we thank you for using them. So this brings us to the end of today's product review. If you guys can like and share our content, that would be great. If you hit that subscribe button on YouTube, as well as hitting the notification bell, you'll be notified of any new uploads. So this brings us to the end of our product review today. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.